I've got somebody running after me with a bloody gun. I ain't got time for you two. God damn it. Hello and welcome back to another video in the series of DayZ. And as you can see, this is our character where we left off with some nice Adidas tracksuits. We've got a pipe. And what we're going to be doing in this video, following on from the first one, we're actually in Belina. And according to the super duper map that I have, there should be a police station here. And from there, we're going to be heading over to the west. Then we're going to hook south and we're going to see if we can find some military tents down there. And this may be the end of the series completely. Who knows until we get there, until we get boots on the ground, you know as much as I do. Welcome to episode two. Welcome to Dizzy. So here we are. Welcome back. We are in Delina. Obviously from the first part, you may realize we were nowhere near where I thought we were. <laughs> So, following on from my little map here, apparently as we get towards the end, there should be a little loop road in a circle. And within there, there should be, an, there should be a police station where we may actually get a vest and some gear. Who knows? I think it's probably not wise for me to be walking around here without a weapon in my hands. So let's just have a look at a couple of buildings here before we move up. See if we can find anything. Some food would be good. I don't want a dress, thank you very much. Let's have a look in here. Now, have we got some food? What have we got there? Some glasses. Go on then, we'll put some glasses on. And nothing else in here by the looks of it. Let's have a quick look upstairs. No, nothing upstairs. Right. Let's see if we can move up. To find this police station. Now there is a vehicle there and I think it should hook around eventually around to the right according to my map and that's where the police station should be. Anything in the vehicle? I think as we get a little bit further up it's gonna there's gonna be a main road heading up on the right. It's then gonna hook around and that is where the police station is. This could actually be the road that I'm thinking of now. That road hooks up there so as we get a little bit further around here the police station should be down at the end here somewhere, so hopefully we might get something interesting. Who knows? Still do feel like they need to add motorbikes and a few other little things to keep the game interesting and be able to get around a little bit easier. Oh, he's fast. Has he got anything on him? Nothing. Shit, and I'm bleeding. I'm going to have to deal with that. Yeah, I am bleeding. I need to worry about... So it's three key. Put that away. Get those out. Quickly heal ourselves. And then let's move up to the police station. Right. Are we all tooled up again? Are we tooled up? No, we're not. There we go. There we go. Now we're tooled up. So, looking at my map, it should be round here. As we come around this corner, it should be further up on the left. So, it's got to be... It can't be this green one. That's a house. That's not... Unless that's it there, it'll be that one there. Come here, pal. Oh, what the... You sneaky little one, you, are you? Oh, you little bastard. Do you know what? You can have another one. You got anything on you? Nothing. Shit, am I bleeding again? Am I bleeding? I'm not sure. Let's get in this police station here and see if we can find some good stuff. Let's just check this out. So the actual map really does change the way the game plays. In fact, there's some beans there. Some canned peaches. And another thing I learned as well, you can open these up without a can opener. You can use a... I'm bleeding again. Shit. You can open them without a can opener. You can open them with an axe. Um, but by doing that, you actually lose a certain amount of the product within the can. Yes. Very realistic, I know. I can't heal for some reason. Well, we got a gas mask. Don't tell me there's going to be nothing good in here. Anything in there? Mind you, there shouldn't be anything in these cells if we're playing realism. What's that on the table? Handcuff keys. Yeah, go on, why not? Might find Kate Beckinsale out there in a compromising position. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, loves. God, she's beautiful, that woman. Anyway. Is that all gonna get? Bloody gas masks. 
I was hoping for some decent gear in here. Uh, we checked those, haven't we? we Did we check this one? Yes, we have. Come on, there's got to be something decent at the police station, surely. Was that a... Did I just hear a gunshot? Shit. We're about to die. This is going to be the end of the series. Oh, God. And the reloading. Oh, my God. We are about to die. Because we've got no ammo. Shit. Oh, shit in hell. Shit the bed. We've got no ammo. He's got to be right below me. Right, well, he's in that building opposite because... Oh, my God, my heart is pumping. This could be the end of the series already. We've only got to bloody episode two. <laughs> Oh, my God. What do we do? I obviously can't fight him. All I've got is an iron bar. Right, let's get the iron bar in my hands. Will you put the iron bar in your hands, please? Two key. Do you know what? If I'm going to die... If I'm going to die, I'm going to die full of beans. Let's get that in my hands. No, I'm going to... Where's the bar? Why can't I open them? Oh, no, I don't, do I need a knife? Can I open it with that? Yes. God, we're going to die. I can't believe it. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Come on, I want to eat some beans here. What do I do? What do I do? Do I tell him that I'm here or do I try and sneak away? Ah, uh, Not sure what to do. I don't know if these are beans. I think they're actually peaches. What are we going to do? Do you know what? I think... I think we should get out of here. Because I can't... There's nothing I can do with this guy. He's got a weapon because I could hear him firing. He's going to come into the police station because that is where you would go. So let's get our asses out of here, I think. Just in case. Now, I know... Let's just have a sneaky look in here. There's, the zombies are not aggroed anymore. Oh, I've seen him. I've seen him. He's in the top window. Uh, shit, can we get out this side? Oh no, I'm stuck in here. There's no way out. Shall I speak to him? Or do I do a runner? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Why can't I jump out of the bloody window? Oh God, do you know what? I'm going to do a runner. I'm going to get out of here and do a fucking runner. Get out of here. Run away. He's probably going to come running for me now. Let's get across this bridge and see if we can survive. Piss off. I've got somebody running after me with a bloody gun. I ain't got time for you two. God damn it. Got lost, bitch. God damn it. Can't you see I'm bleeding here? Oh, shit. Shit in hell. Oh, we need to bandage quick. Oh, this is not going well. Why can't I bandage? Why can't I bandage? I've got rags. Use them. Oh, maybe I'm not bleeding. Oh, God. Right, well, 
I think what we need to do is... He's not coming, is he? Right. I, do you know what? I could go back and speak to him. He may be friendly, but you never trust anybody in this game. And I don't want it to be the end of the series, having been on only on part two. <laughs> so according to my map, if I head up here for quite a way, we're going to run into a dirt track. And from there, we're going to go west down to the military base. Just want to be careful here. I don't want him to follow me up. Anything in here. Oh, look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. There is a rifle there. So we have a rifle, but do we have any ammo? Didn't we pick some 7.62 up? Is that 7.62? That is 7.62. Where's the ammo that we picked up? Why is that? Is that 7.62, isn't it? Oh, no, I thought we had some 7.62 rounds. I'm sure we picked them up. Oh God! It's time. For, it's time for us to get out of here. This is this is too risky. This is too risky. We're gonna bail up here into the woods. And then we're gonna hook a right here, and that should be leading us. If I'm got my map reading skills right, that should be leading us west. And as we head west. We're then going to go south down to the military base. But hey ho, this is it. This is day Z. This is what it's all about. It's a matter of surviving. And I do not want to be messing around with somebody who's going to take us out. But that's definitely where they were heading for. They were heading for the police station. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, day Z, you've got to love it. You've got to love it. There are moments, utter moments of absolutely nothing mixed in with moments of heart pound intention because you obviously do not want to lose your character wowza and so it begins i shall cut some of this out so you don't have to watch me running all the way hopefully i'm going to be running into that road through the forest here i hope you're enjoying this it's certainly a little bit more intense action than there was in the first part brilliant Well, I think this could be the dirt track, actually. So, if my map reading skills, again, is right, if we take a hook here and we work this down through the actual woods here, that should lead us eventually to a military compound down on our right as we uh, start to exit the woods. We have got quite a little bit of a trek here. It's probably going to be a mile and a half down to that location. So, again, I'll cut that little bit out for you so you're not sat around for ages waiting for me to get down there. But let's hope it's not too soon to be going in to a military compound this stage or this early into our adventure. Let's get tabbing. We seem to be getting quite high up now. The wind is definitely picking up here. I'm trying to follow the map. There's not many actual buildings here that it's showing up. But the military compound should be on the right hand side further down. I'm just a little bit worried that we've gone too far and I've missed it. Maybe the tents were further down that way. But I suppose as we get to these buildings down here, these little outcrop of villages down here, that may give us the opportunity to get some more food and water. I have actually got food and water, but I know from experience that more is better. Anything in here? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to swap the actual metal pipe for that, I think. Can I put that directly? Yeah, why can't I pick that up? Maybe I have to put put four away. Nope. How do I get rid of the pipe? Where's the pipe? Metal pipe. Be gone. Now I should be able to pick the splitting axe up. That's better. There is a little guard tower here, which makes me think, potentially, that could be overlooking the village down below. Let's get ourselves up and have a sneaky look before we move down there. There's a couple of gas canisters there, which I'm not going to use. So, not a huge amount of things down there. 
or anything I should I say that resembles a military camp. Hey ho, I think what we might do is we'll have that at the end of part two before we head down there. Let me try and work out or fly in where we are. And we shall have that as the end of part two. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. A little bit of action on that one. I don't want to get into combat this early in the game. But hey ho, that's Dizzy and that's surviving. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in episode three.